All right, so let's talk about Clark and Oliver. Um, there was an episode in season eight, I think, when Jimmy was kind of figuring out Clark's secret, and so Clark got Oliver to wear a cape and stand on a roof. Uh, at the end of that episode, they're on Oliver's jet, and Oliver was thanking Clark for not telling him that, you know, that Lionel, I guess, had killed his parents, and kind of stopping him, saving him from himself, in a sense. The thing about Oliver is I love Oliver. I say that all the time. Oliver has made some mistakes, um, but I just, every episode I see with him, it confirms, like, my love of him because I think he's a really good guy who makes mistakes. But I really think that, like, he looks up to Clark so much and I think he loves Clark a lot. And I think he would do, like, anything for him. And what I love about that is that Oliver, you know, his parents died when he was young. I think him and Lex are a lot alike. You know, they're very um, needy, I guess. That's not the right word. But, like, they're very emotionally, like, distant and really wanting somebody to be there for them, and I guess that's why they're both drawn, like, to Clark in that sense. I always felt like, of course, Lex was really, really wanting Clark to be there, but Lex was too evil. That wasn't possible. But Oliver, on the other hand, um, even though uh, Clark was like, basically, I'm done with you, <laughs> when Oliver murdered Lex, which is totally wrong, of course, on Oliver's part, but... You can see that he really, really wants Clark to think good of him. Like, what Clark thinks about him matters to him. And I've seen that for a long time. And so I was really glad in this episode that they showed that the fact that Clark wasn't talking to him, it bothers him. Like, he's like, he looks up to Clark and I feel like Clark's like a brother to him. Kind of like the whole thing with Lex too. But, like, Oliver really wants to be good. He wants to do the right thing. And he sees Clark as, like, this guy who's got all these abilities and yet isn't living up to his potential. And uh, he said that in, like, season six where he was like, Clark, you can't just sit around on your farm and wait for, you know, your friends who need saving. You should be out there, you know. And Oliver, without superpowers, is always out there, you know, patrolling the streets. And I think he's amazing. I definitely think he's a hero. Um, well, when Clark comes to support Oliver. Oh my god, that scene. Well, first, you know, Clark went to talk to his dad, and that was so touching and so moving. And then, like, the next scene, where Oliver's sitting there, and he's talking, and Clark comes in, and just the look on Oliver's face was like, oh, he was so grateful that Clark would be there, and that Clark would support him, because he really, really needs Clark to be his friend. And Clark... You know, um, in Echo, he saw how far Oliver was spiraling, and then he realized, oh, right, I haven't been a good friend to him. Um, and I guess he kind of, you know, Clark has a lot to do. I'm not, I don't blame Clark at all for not always being there and being the best friend of Oliver. I think I would like to see going forward just more of a relationship with them. I'd like to see them hanging out as friends. Colliver, as I like to call him, or Collie. Let's call them like the name of the dog that Lassie is. <laughs> their their couple name could be Collie. <laughs> anyway, so like just them hanging out, you know, um, talking or watching a movie or drinking or whatever. Like just, I think it would be cool if they were just friends and they had some friend scenes that weren't always about drama or Watchtower or Chloe or something, but I think Oliver and Clark are really good friends, and I remember, uh, and I think it was like season seven where, uh, it was Hydro, yeah, when Lois was having a movie night with, with Collie. <laughs> Sorry. Clark and Lois and Oliver, so cute. Uh, anyway, um, but yeah, that was really touching for me. And when Oliver said the thing about him being rich, but he's not trying to get tax breaks or, you know, manipulating people, drilling for oil in the ocean, or trying to keep immigrants out. And I actually, 
even right now, you know, um, I was actually moved. Like I was crying when he said that because that is real. You know, I know that that's a real issue in our country as far as how people treat other people and the whole immigration issue. And that really hit home for me because I was like, that Oliver's right. Oliver's not just some bad corporate person, you know, who's in it for himself. What he does is Green Arrow is really admirable. And people shouldn't look down on that. And people shouldn't judge him. And I love when he said, I'm not doing it alone. Because for a moment I was like, oh my god. <laughs> like, is he going to out Clark and all everyone else? But it wasn't him saying... I'm not doing it alone, let me tell you who else is doing it. I think he was kind of, it's more of a modest thing. Like, it's not just me. I'm not the only one. But damn right, I'm a hero. And so are the people who are doing this with me. And so are cops and firefighters. And I'm glad that Oliver is showing his face. And a lot of people are like, oh, he's putting people at risk. But, you know, cops are heroes and they don't wear masks and use voice distorters. <laughs> I know it's different, but then again, it's a TV show and a comic book, so I just think, for what it's worth, Oliver's awesome. I loved this show from the moment um, Clark went to the future. Every single second after that was brilliant, and I have to say, I do not like Tess's character. Um, I actually was thinking, I was like, why did I enjoy Supergirl in this episode so much? I was like, there, I didn't fast forward a moment of it and I usually do that I don't watch Tess's scenes most of the time unless she's with Clark or Lois occasionally if she's with Oliver or Chloe but depends on what they're talking about but honestly I think Cassie Freeman's so like smart and funny beautiful and an amazing actress like I love her acting I hate her character and I have no use for Tess, so honestly, <laughs> I know a lot of people are disappointed that she hasn't been on. But I actually enjoy the complete the show completely and totally when she's not around. <laughs> I wish her character didn't suck so much. I'm sorry because like she didn't, would not have to be a star for me. Uh, actually, Lois Clark and Oliver, Doctor Mill, Brainiac, <laughs> Mr. Kent guest starring. I really hope they bring James Marshers back because um, just that last scene where he was like telling Clark, heroes are made in the moment. That was the statement right there. Clark was talking about um, how he's so consumed with the past and worried about the future. And that was, that was the whole message of the episode. That you have to live in the moment. And that moment that Clark finally lived in after 10 years of drama and all this ups and downs, the moment that he lived in with him and Lois, that is when he floated. It's also what Kara said about the butterfly, that he had to focus on one thing. And so I think that is, I have got to give the writers props. I have, you know, been really, really critical of them. But to have that reference where Kara talks about the butterfly, Brainiac talks about the moment that you just have to live in the moment, and then how Clark floats while he's dancing with Lois. And I'm glad neither one of them had to know because he was in the moment. You know, his eyes were closed. He didn't realize what was happening. It was absolutely perfect. And, you know, I will just now, I can just be content. I want to see if they keep this momentum. Clark, like, just took off like leaps and bounds in this episode so it'll be interesting to see what they do with Isis and everything but now I feel totally content not reading spoilers not knowing I kind of know some of the stuff about Isis but Harvest Ambush like you know it doesn't matter like I will just sit back and now I am ready <laughs> to let them tell me what they want I'm ready to sit back and enjoy the rest of this season um, and not know what's going to happen ahead of time. Thank you so much for listening. And let me go on and on and on. And please, let me know what you think. Bye.